Hi guys, how you doing? You alright? So last night I had a dream. I believe this to be prophetic. Please pray about it and weigh it up with the Bible for yourself. I'm going to share with you what I remember of this dream, like the, the main points that stuck out about it. Okay, so I was in this uh, place where there were like thousands and thousands and thousands of people and uh, a huge UFO was like sort of hovering just above the ground. I mean, this thing's massive. And uh, people were like walking up into it and they were sitting in there. And um, <clears throat> it is kind of weird. It's like it had places for people, like, like as if there was some sort of entertainment thing in there, like, you know. Um, but I, I knew what it was. I knew that it was like, uh, it was, this UFO was deceiving people, you know, that it was something that it was not. And I knew that we were like in grave danger being in it or near it. Um, and I managed to get out of there. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of people were still being tricked by it. I, I just want to quickly say that I had a dream before uh, a few years ago on UFOs, like many, many of them. And I personally believe that it is a part of the Great Deception UFOs, right? Um, but for you to please pray about this for yourself, all right? But yeah, there was this huge ship and uh, people were being deceived by it and I managed to get out of it. And, um, well, I know it sounds slightly strange, but this UFO... They were like offering cake to people as like an incentive for them to go back in this ship. But I knew over and over in the dream that this was, we were being deceived. This UFO was deceiving people. Okay, it's a massive, massive UFO, right? Deceiving people. And with the UFOs, I believe the Antichrist was involved with it. It was something to do with the Antichrist. And people being deceived and ufos okay next up about this dream was something something big had happened some sort of big event i i, I think it was something to do with an asteroid hitting the earth you know uh, there was a lot of devastation um and i found myself sort of running and sort of like land masses had changed and i was on this like huge huge sort of hill mountain thing and I was trying to like sort of get down it and it had like sheer drops on it and everything and it was it was awful I was running along this thing and the land was not safe you know like running down this hill it was just like phenomenally big man and big sheer drops and like jagged land and it was just yeah and uh after this in the dream food prices had gone through the roof. I mean, like, food was massively, massively expensive. Uh, like, something that, like, a bottle of milk now would only cost a couple of quid, like, you know, like a big bottle of milk. But in, in the dream, it was, like, £500 for a bottle of milk, you know, or £500 for something so small. Food prices had shot through the roof, you know. So what I'm sharing with you is very short but I, I believe it to be a prophetic dream please pray about it and wear it up with the bible for yourself but yeah massive uso deceiving people asteroid impact i believe it was an asteroid impact caused massive devastation and land masses had changed and shifted and walking along was just completely different and and sort of difficult like you know it, it was it was scary i've got to be honest with you and food prices had shot through the roof uh, like £500 for a bottle of milk, as an example, you know, and this was basically the dream. But but please pray about this and wear it up with the Bible for yourself. And uh, yeah, guys, we still know that hard and bad times are coming and we need to get ready. And the first way we can do that is with our Lord Jesus, repent of our sins, live upright according to the Bible, live in daily submission to our Lord, right? And the second way, join the Christian communities in the description. Uh, meet up with like-minded people in our local regions, put a plan in place, learn survival skills, prep, get your bug out gear ready to go, put plans in place for
basically stone age living because when we bug out that's the way it's going to be for us and uh be ready work with them right and don't be deceived by anything to do with ufos or anything like that in the end times all right be ready see you guys again soon you be safe over and out